Indian media, gang rape in action. The arrest of eight suspects in the gang rape and murder of a mentally ill woman has focused Indian media attention on accusations of police inaction. The mutilated body of the 28-year-old victim, who was originally from Nepal, was found dumped in a field near a main road in Rodak district, in the northern state of Haryana, last week. A post-mortem showed signs of a brutal assault, according to the Times of India, including multiple injuries to the victim's lower body and stones and blades in her stomach. The eight suspects are all in their 20s and are from a village near Rodak, police say. The force's initial response drew criticism, with a spokesman for the opposition Congress party, Randeep Sarjwala, accusing police of still being clueless five days after the corpse's discovery, first post reports. Police insist their response to the case was swift, but have promised to punish any lapses on the part of officers. The victim's sister told the Indian Express that she had reporting her sibling missing three days before the body was found, and that police ignored her pleas for an investigation. If this was a case of a woman from a higher strata of society, the police would have acted immediately, the unnamed woman, a housemaid, is quoted saying. A commentary in First Post argues that this and similar cases are part of a wider disturbing pattern of crimes against poorer women receiving inadequate attention, not just from police, but wider society. Two days after her body was recovered, there is no hashtag trending on Twitter pledging support, the paper says. Perhaps, most of us know too well that the Rodak victim is not one of us. Fears for secularism. Meanwhile, a Supreme Court judge has drawn media attention by publicly questioning whether India will remain a secular state in future, in a case relating to religious influence on the country's civil law. Justice Vikram Jitsen made the comments during a hearing on a petition for Christian ecclesiastical, or canon, court's law to be given jurisdiction in civil and family matters. It is a secular country but I don't know how long it will remain so, the judge is quoted saying by the Times of India. The court said there was a need to stamp religion out of civil matters, and highlighted honor killings as a possible danger posed by enshrining religious institutions in law, according to the Hindu. The petitioner had claimed the authorities' non-recognition of canon law divorces was resulting in some Catholics being falsely accused of bigamy. New Broom And finally, newspapers are reporting that the price of brooms has shot up in Delhi in anticipation of a possible victory for the anti-corruption AAMIADMI party, AAP, in state assembly elections. The cost of the cleaning implements has rocketed from around 50 rupees, 80 cents, to over 100 rupees as a result of increased demand from activists of the AAP, which uses the broom as its party symbol, DNA India reports. Last night, there were some brooms in my shop but now can you spot any, one shopkeeper tells the paper, with another predicting, this time broom will sweep the city.